Let's set up a conditional forwarder in Microsoft Windows Server 2019. I have my DC1 server, which is automatically a DNS server because it is a domain controller. And down at the bottom here of the DC1 server, I have the option for a conditional forwarder. Now there's two different types of forwarders in DNS. So if I right click on the server, and choose properties, we see a forwarders tab. And you can see it's pointing to Google uh, for uh, one of them and the other one is pointing to, I believe, Verizon. So these are fine uh, for forwarding anything outside of the internet. So basically what happens is, is a computer wants to go to CNN.com or whatever it is, it's gonna go to uh, the server first, DC1, and then it's gonna get forwarded onto the internet service provider, uh, DNS or any other DNS service that's out here. In this case, it'll first go to Google. And then it'll come back to the server, cache it, and then send it to the client. So that works great. But what if you had a specific zone that you wanted to forward your, your traffic to uh, that's on a server on the inside of your network or someplace else that maybe the internet service provider is not aware of? And that's what conditional forwarders do. So we have a forwarder that will cover every single domain, but what if you have just one domain that you want want to forward to another place. So I'll right click and choose create new conditional forwarder. And here is the option to add in the DNS domain. So I'm just going to call this ABC.123. Uh, and I'll say, hey, that's on the inside of my network. So I don't want this to go out to my general ISP forwarders. I want it to just be forwarded over to this other domain. So then I'll put in the IP address 192.168.1.250. I know it's going to come up with an error, but that's okay. So once I do that and click OK, there we go. So if I'm going to go to anything at abc.123, let's say I'm going to dc1.abc.123. Instead of going to dc1 for resolution or instead of going out to the internet for resolution, it's going to get forwarded conditionally because it's looking for this particular zone. It's going to go over to this particular server at the IP address I typed in, if it existed, and it's gonna do its resolution there. So this is really great for offices that contain multiple domains and forests that are all internal, where you don't want forwarders to go outside of your internet. So that's how we set up a conditional forwarder in Windows Server 2019.